Good morning. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. This is Carlton Kuhn. Last week I changed gears a bit in my free offering and uh, gave to every person who uh, shared the Ministry Monday video on, here on Facebook. I, I gave them a free copy of my ebook, uh, The How and Why of New Convert Care. Today I'm going to do the same for any who make a comment. And I'm thankful for those who were kind enough to participate in that last week. And we'll be sure to get the um, ebook out to, to each of you. Um, this particular book has been a, a great benefit to a number of churches. And I'd like for you to have it because I think it can be a benefit to many other churches as they work toward keeping new converts. I want to kind of build on what I ended with last week. And this is a provocation of your thought. And it goes back to those three words, who, what, where, and then there. First of all, who are you trying to influence? And this is an important premise because a lot of times we get this wrong. The director of children's ministry does not have as their objective to influence children. The director is to influence those who work with children to make them better in their classrooms and more effective at benefiting the kids under their oversight. Someone who is involved in prison ministry is obviously to do well at the local, local effort of dealing with a jail or prison. But when somebody moves into leadership in prison ministry and they begin to direct that, then the measure of success changes. It's not simply great stories about what happens in a prison service, but instead now it's how can we increase the number of churches that are involved in prison ministry? How can we uh, affect those who are already involved in a way that will make them more effective. I hope that makes sense. We have to ask the question, who am I trying to influence? Secondly, what are the behaviors that we want to influence them toward? Think about this. What can be done that comes as a result of our influence? Now, I love to preach. I love to teach. But the question I have to ask at times is more influence gained by a phone call or a personal card than by some of my best sermons. How about lunch with someone who is a newcomer to the church body? What are the behaviors that I do? Now, I'm not talking about what we're influencing others to do. I'm talking about what are the influences, what are the actions that I take that, be, that allow me to become influential in other people's lives. And the truth of the matter is that is seldom done in front of a group of hundreds of thousands. There are exceptions to that, obviously. But the behaviors are more often those intimate points of connection. Third question, where are we leading people? What is the direction? You can't take people everywhere, but you are to influence them toward a particular outcome. What are the needs that we see that should be uh, that we we should be using our influence and our time to address. By the way, Jesus understood that you can't take people from the first grade to grad school in a week. He told his disciples, and I'm paraphrasing, there are some things I'd say to you, but you're not ready to hear them. As a leader, we have to look at where we're taking people and then move them line upon line and precept upon precept. And then finally, how do we know when we get there. When have we been effective? What does success look like? A goal is not abstract. It's not, well, we want the church to grow. Instead, it is specific. Do you see that, that this is not about being a role that allows us to command? God's church is not a military operation. He does not empower us to be King Tut or little generals. Napoleonic complexes are not allowed for shepherds. Shepherds also do not get to settle their flock on one comfortable piece of ground for us and, and just stay there. Soon the grass is eaten to the roots and the flock is unhealthy. So going back to something that we mentioned a few days back, effective leadership is not simply repeating the cycle year after year, but who are we going to lead? Where do we want to take them? What are we going to use our, our influence to accomplish? And what does their look like. Begin this week integrating the concepts of influencing people 
into your entire life and you can impact far more than you can ever imagine.